In this video, we'll talk more about design types and the grading of designs. I've downloaded this design in several different formats. I'm going to switch to Embroidery Canvas. And this first design is a pure art design. To find the type of file, go to Design and Design Properties. And the grade is given at the very bottom of the design tab. Now, this grade does not mean that the design is bad or is good. It just tells you what you can do with this design. Grade A are pure embroidery files created in Bernita Embroidery software. They contain objects, outlines, and stitches and have complete design information all in this single file. There'll be information about object outlines, properties, stitch types, and data stitch coordinates, thread colors, pull compensation, auto spacing settings, and thumbnails. These types of designs provide 100% perfect scaling because when the design is rescaled, the software recalculates the stitches and redraws all stitches automatically. So if I select this design and resize it, all the fancy fills are there, the stitch order is maintained, and the design stitches in the same density. I didn't have that same design in a grade B design. Grade B designs were created from an outline format, and OESD designs prior to group 11,397, you'll find are grade B designs. Again, go to the design menu, Design Properties, and you will find the grade in the lower corner. With converted outlines, stitches are recalculated, and you will find that these designs can also be resized and will resize fine. Grade C designs are read from machine files like EXP, DST, and PES. And actually, when you open one of these files or insert this kind of file, you have two choices. You can open it as a grade C or a grade D. With grade C design, stitches are converted to objects. And so if I choose uh, click on open and I select a file that is not an art file, options appear and I can click on options. And if I select the first option to convert stitches into object shapes, that is going to be a grade C design. If I click on leave stitches as individual stitches, that is going to be a grade D design. And you'll see the implications of the difference between a grade C and a grade D. So with grade C, the stitches are converted to objects. And if you don't make the change in options, this is the default setting for other formatted designs. They can be scaled and they can be recalculated, but they're not as accurate once you go beyond a certain rescaling factor. So here I'll click and drag to rescale this design. And you can see that some of the fancy fill stitches were lost. Generally, you should not rescale these beyond 20%. Then we have this design, which I opened the same way, only this time I selected the grade D to leave stitches as individual stitches. The designs have not been converted into objects. They stay as stitches. There's no outline information. And when these designs are resized, the fancy fill is fine, but the stitch count does not increase. So when these designs are resized, there's no change in density and only 10% resizing is recommended for these types of files. So just remember that stitch files or machine files contain only stitch coordinates and machine functions. When they're opened in the software, the Stitch blocks are created wherever color changes or trims are detected. And that's why you get this fragmented look. 
in this design. Now this is also a stitch format design, but this design file does not carry color information. So you can see that when this design was open, the colors are not the correct colors and would have to be corrected by opening my threads and reassigning thread colors.